Hey, uh, I thought I'd check in. Um, I'm in Lee, Liz, Louisiana. Louisiana. I uh, just left Texas. Was there for about about a week, and uh, heading towards uh, a few stops in Louisiana to see some friends. Then Mississippi, then down the Gulf towards Florida. Gonna get back to Florida and do some exploring there because, as I mentioned uh, last year, went down there and explored that whole state and fell in love with it. The Keys. I want to live in the Keys. So this time, I'm gonna go with my one of my best friends, oldest friends, Chris Labracus, who lives in uh, Clearwater area. Um, he and I are gonna spend about four to five days driving the Keys down that famous highway. And I want to explore it out because my perfect world, I mean, I do what I have to do right now. I'm guided with my teaching and my helping people and helping my mom back in Idaho. Um, but there's things that I want to do that often doesn't work out. But if that ever happens, my ideal situation would be to live in the Keys in the winter and Idaho in the summer. We'll see how that works out. In the meantime, I enjoy every moment. Something came to mind with uh, Louisiana. When I moved to Texas uh, 12 years ago, I had a thing, I, I, I had a good friend who was from New Orleans, and I learned all about Southern cooking, and Cajun cooking, and Creole cooking. Um, there were some things I'd never had before. One of the things is Boudin. When I tasted Boudin, it's like my world changed. Where have I been living this whole time? Being a Yankee, I guess. Boudin is spelled B-O-U-D-I-N. It is just, it's everywhere here, and in Texas. It's a loose casing sausage, normally. Um, it's made out of pork parts, kind of like a hot dog, but it's it's loose with spicy. And what they do with Boudin here is they uh, do everything. You can boil it in, in, the, in the sausage casing. You can boil it, you can fry it, you can bake it, um, you can barbecue it. They have Boudin balls, what they're called, where they uh, deep fry it, you get it. It's just really good. Boudin, Boudin, Boudin. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of Boudin and probably have that tonight for dinner. Um, yeah, I'm just out wandering uh, the country again, the south. I, uh, how, are, how uh, switch of subjects real quick is, how y'all uh, seeing the world? Are you waking up yet? I'm running into more and more people that are waking up out of the slumber, out of the matrix. Um, I'm not really kind of uh, alluding to things much anymore. I'm being gonna start to be straightforward about everything. I've been posting for a couple of years of things for people to look at and I've said, there's a speed trap ahead. I've always said I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm not here to prove I'm right. I never am because my ego doesn't, I don't need to be proven right. I'm here to offer alternative information for anyone who uh, is interested. And that's from all levels, from the COVID thing to the politics thing, to the world thing, to whatever. Um, I'm gonna be a little more direct now coming in the future because so many people are waking up now at whatever level and they're wanting to know questions I'm getting calls right and left and people coming to me and that's what I uh, basically have positioned myself for. Um, I'm going to start to do webinars. It's not quite time yet, but when uh, I'm seeing a lot more people waking up with questions, I'm going to start doing probably weekly webinars that anybody can come in on, answer questions. They'll all be free. That's coming down the road. But you've got, uh, you know, if you're, if you're still clinging to a dog web of sorts, it's time to really let it go whether that's a Republican dogma or a Democrat dogma or the right or left, it's nothing, that all doesn't matter anymore. This is about really humanity, uh, a bigger picture above all that. You know, even religion, you can be religious, but look outside the box now. It's really important to start looking outside the box. I always say that, see the big picture, stand on the moon and look down, it's time. Because the storm's here, we're in the middle of it, it's going to get worse and worse. Things are going up incrementally. I mean, you got the Biden crime family, uh, they're going to go down here soon. The news is trying to stifle all that, but it's coming out. You've got COVID narrative falling apart, it has fallen apart, and now all uh, the evidence is coming out on the jabs and the damage that it's doing to human beings. Um, uh, all that's coming out. Um, you've got uh, uh, psh, history, even. It, what have we been taught in history that's... <laughs> maybe lied about. Um, we've got the school stuff. Everything is just, again, the generalization, it's a big generalization I use, but it's uh, everything we've been taught is one big lie. And that is a generalization, but in, in essence, on different levels, it's true. 
we the people have to take our power back. I've said this. Any leader, though I'm a Trump supporter, oh, that's another thing. Uh, the more they throw at Trump, the stronger he gets and the stronger the patriot movement gets. It's just the way it is. Because we are awake and we see what's going on. Um, but no leader, even a Trump or whatever, is going to save us. It is us that are going to save ourselves. We let this shit happen to us. We were not paying attention all the way from our local school boards to our local city councils all the way to the top. Now people are getting involved. I'm involved in the local community back in Idaho in the local poli political community. There's a whole new wave of people coming in. And we're, uh, we're speaking with loud voices and we're going to do everything by the rule of law, peacefully and legally. And this goes all the way to the top, too. When the evidence comes out against the Fauci's, it's already done. Uh, crimes against humanity, gates and all that. It'll be by the rule of law. It'll be peacefully and it'll be done by the rule of law. That's always been our purpose. They will go down. There will be trials, but that will happen here probably sooner than later. Um, we're not the violent type like the Antifa's and BLM. If you disagree with them, they, they want to beat you, beat, beat, beat the, your, the sense out of you. Sort of generalizing again, but the evidence is there. Anyway, eyes wide open. See the big picture. I'm staying in Lafayette tonight. I'm about 45 minutes out, so uh, I'll get there and go find a good Cajun restaurant, and I'm going to have some fun. Bye.